All right, let's make some king saute skewers. Meaty king oyster mushrooms make this dish a win-win for meat eaters and plant eaters. King oysters are a great choice of mushroom to use. Sliced into thick strips, pressed, skewered, and then grilled. Paired with the gingery peanut sauce brings it all together. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep these, these mushrooms, all right? So the ones that are a little bit larger, I'm gonna slice in half, okay? Okay, and these smaller ones I'm gonna keep as is. Okay, these are pretty, pretty small, these are a little bit thicker. I'm gonna slice those. These are thin. All right, so these are ready to go. Next thing you wanna make sure that you, when you're using cast iron, cast iron is key with this pressing method. This is a pressing method that my brother, Derek, started working with years back. So with the cast iron, you wanna make sure that it is nice and hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to it, a little spray oil. I'm gonna place those on the pan. As many as I can in the pan here. All right, so the next step, you wanna get a cast iron in a pan that's a little bit smaller than the one that you're using here. I'm gonna go ahead and just place that on top. Okay, so with this pressing method, you wanna grab a towel and then just go ahead and slowly press. Okay, what you're doing is you're condensing the fibers and you're releasing a lot of liquid also from those mushrooms. All right, I'm gonna check those out. I'm gonna wipe the bottom here. All right, let's check on that color. So that's looking nice. So I'm gonna flip all these over. Get some really nice color on the bottom of those. All right, get those closer. All right, I'm gonna season them a little bit. Going right back on top. All right, so right when they're almost done, right when they're almost done, you gotta check them out. Right when they're almost done, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of liquid, okay? A little bit of water, and that's gonna help steam them and really soften the mushrooms. All right, let's check those out. Check on that color. Oh, those are looking really good. Let's just turn the heat off and we're gonna make the marinade to add these two. All right, so let's just use a couple ingredients here. I have some soy sauce. I have some sambal, a little bit of chili. Okay, a little bit of vinegar. You can add some ginger in there if you wish. I'm just gonna add some simple ingredients and stir that up. I'm just gonna go ahead and add those mushrooms to that marinade. All right, I'm gonna wrap this with plastic wrap so they kind of steam and they soften quite quickly. All right, so we're gonna set these aside and we're gonna go ahead and make that peanut sauce right now. So we're gonna start off with rolling the citrus. I'm gonna use a bunch of lime juice here. I'm gonna go ahead and slice those up. I'm just gonna squeeze them in my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some peanut butter here. You can use almond butter, you can use cashew butter, you can even use tahini, which is quite nice. All right, let's go ahead and add a little bit of ginger in there. Remember, you don't need to mince it up if it's getting blended. We want this to be a nice gingery sauce here. Use a little bit of chili, depending on your heat level that you prefer. Let's get some tamari as well and a little bit of water to blend, not much. All right, that is good to go. That is ready to serve with the saute. This is just a great sauce, just over rice and some steamed vegetables as well. All right, so these mushrooms, once they've been pressed, they've been sitting in this marinade for a little while just for them to soften up and cool down. We're gonna go ahead and skewer these. Make sure your skewers are soaked. Makes them a lot easier to cook with. 
so they're not gonna burn during grilling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of weave the mushroom on the skewer here. It's going on the top, kind of weaving it on here. And the reason I don't skewer them before marinating them is because marination also softens, so you don't want them to fall off the skewers. So it's the easiest way to do them. So I'm just kind of pressing, kind of weaving them on. We're just gonna do a bunch of these. In the meantime, I have a grill pan. You can alternatively, you can use a grill outdoors, uh, but I have a grill pan that I'm heating up on a medium high heat while I skewer these up. All right, so with this leftover marinade, you can certainly save it for another batch or use it serve with rice or a stir fry. All right, so your grill pan is getting nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that with oil just so it doesn't stick. We're gonna go ahead and lay those out. You want that sizzle. Get those grilling up. That char is gonna add some really nice flavor to these. I'm gonna grill them for about three to four minutes on each side. Let's check them out. Get some marks on there. I'm flipping them as they go. Let those go for another moment. All right, turn those off the heat. Those should be good to go. Oh, these are nice. Got some nice char in them. All right, those are good to go. We have that peanut sauce that we made. Let's go ahead and drizzle that over all of those. Just gonna take some cilantro leaves. All right, get a little bit of sliced chili on there. There you have it, some king satay with some ginger peanut sauce.